What's up gamers, Fiend588 here, welcome back to another Roblox video. Today, I will be taking you step by step through the facility security in the game Isle on Roblox. Also, I'd like to get to 50 subscribers by the end of the year, and most of you watching aren't actually subscribed. So, if you want to help me reach my goal, or simply enjoy the video, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you are notified when I release new videos. Alright, enough stalling, let's get into the video. First, let's go over the tools you'll need to raid the facility. You'll need a gun with at least one ammo and the master bypass console that can be found in the room near the entrance to the facility. The first security measure in the facility is the entrance hallway. Upon entering the hall, the doors on either end will close, trapping you inside. The only way to escape is to click this vent as many times as possible until it drops down. As you can see, lasers will travel down the hall in an attempt to get rid of you. A single laser will appear a few times, followed by an unavoidable wall of lasers. Once in the facility, there are other security measures that you must avoid. Let's start off simple. Tripwires are dangerous, near-invisible traps that stretch across a few of the hallways in the facility. To disable them, simply click on this box and they'll become harmless. If you do not disable a tripwire before touching it, you will explode, which kills you instantly. There are three locations that tripwires are set. One down the left entrance hallway, one at the beginning of the hallway leading to the room that houses the level 4 security crates, and one at the entrance to wing B. The next and most common security measure we will discuss are locked doors. They aren't dangerous but they are everywhere and must be hacked to get them open, unless you have the correct level keycard. The hacking difficulty varies depending on what level the door is. The higher the level of the door, the harder it is to hack. The process of hacking isn't usually too difficult, and thanks to a feature added in aisle 9, one of the numbers will be solved every minute or so. The algorithm is completely random on every hackable thing, and it changes with every new game. So, it is impossible to memorize the correct numbers beforehand. Whenever I hack something, I usually mess around with the numbers for a bit, to see if I can get close to the output numbers, and to see how each of the numbers changes the input. For this algorithm, I found that if the first number was low, the second number was in the middle, the third number was low, and the fourth number was high, I could get an input number that was relatively close to the output. So, I decided to keep the numbers in that range for now. As you can see, the first number was solved by the console, signified by the box changing to green. This didn't help me too much, since I had already had that box on zero. After not finding any successful combinations with the ranges I had used earlier, I changed the second number to a high number, and the fourth number to a low number. And voila, I cracked the code. Hacking isn't an exact science, but the tools and tricks that I use do work most of the time. Now that we're finished with that, let's move on to gate security. Gate security is a new feature added in aisle 9 and closes off wings A and B, the archive room, and the room that houses one of the parasites. To activate this room, click the three microphones on this console. To hear and or see the code, press play audio on any of the three other consoles. It will display a string of lights that corresponds to the number on the activation console. 
The algorithm of, of the code is A plus B plus C, etc., etc., equals the code. So the first code would be 2 plus 0 plus 0, which equals 2, which, as you can see, is the correct answer. The code for this console is red plus blue plus green plus blue plus blue, or 2 plus 5 plus 0 plus 5 plus 5, which equals 17. You can do the math in your head, or on a piece of paper, or in any way you like. But you have to remember that the algorithm is A plus B plus C, so on and so forth, equals the number for the code. I think that's everything for this feature, so let's move on to the turrets. There are a total of three turrets in the facility. One at the branch between wing A and wing B, one at the entrance to wing B, and a hidden wall turret at the end of the right entrance passage. With security active, the turrets are extremely dangerous, especially the wall turret, which will annihilate you if you step too far out into the hallway. The two other turrets can be eliminated using a scoped rifle. You can get by the wall turret by using the method that I just did of pressing yourself up against the wall and very carefully walking sideways. The last two threats that we need to talk about are this wall, which can be bypassed by letting it drop and then walking under it once it raises back up, and frog spawn. Frog spawn are weak enemies that rise from the ground in certain parts of the facility. They have 20 health and can be taken out pretty easily. I recommend using a weapon with a decent fire rate and a high amount of ammo to fight them. Some frog spawn are much larger than others. These ones are much slower, but they have 200 points of armor, which is a lot, and they do much more damage. Never under any circumstances use a scoped rifle or sniper rifle to fight frog spawn. Their fire rate is way too slow and will end with you getting shredded by the frog spawn. One last thing about frog spawn is that they have a ranged attack that they use if they can't catch you. This attack stuns and deals a lot of damage, so just watch out for that. Also, if you wish to get rid of all dangerous threats besides frog spawn, just disable security. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you're notified when I release new videos. Until next time, peace out gamers.